Most of us have a phone addiction, which is when we use our phone way more than we should. As soon as we wake up to scroll through social media, as I normally do, while going downstairs or just walking around the house. And that definitely has to change as my screen time is 6 hours and 13 minutes per day which obviously is really concerning. And we can see that I spent 15 hours a week on TikTok, four hours and a half on Instagram. And yes, I use five hours of WhatsApp, which I mean, I believe that's really high, but I'm not gonna take that in, into consideration as well as YouTube, as I normally tend to use YouTube in the background while I'm cooking or driving or listening to something while I'm doing something. Which means that I, that I spent about two hours a day on my phone doing nothing. And obviously, in my opinion, that's really concerning. And even though I believe that being productive all day is really difficult and not that healthy mentally, and I do need to at least spend some time in a day relaxing and watching something else that's not work, I already set up some limits on Instagram and TikTok. And obviously, I wanted to do something. As many of you guys know, I used to read a lot when I was in high school. I stopped when I was in college for different reasons. And since this year started, I've been wanting to read again. We're already in October, so let me tell you what I've done. I started at the beginning of the year reading some books which I believe were, I believe were not the right ones to start reading because I got really bored and stopped reading. But then in July, I went to the US and bought several books which I believe that are going to make me feel comfortable and good about reading. Since then, I've been reading, but not as much as I want. I've been reading about a book in a month or a month and a half, which obviously is a lot for many people, but I believe I could do better. So since then, I've read several books. The first one was Book Lovers, which I don't have it with me as I gave it to a friend, but I have to say that for being the first book, it was really good. The second one was... The second one was this one, The Subtle Art of Not Giving, a something that I can't say here on YouTube. And I have to say that it was a good one. I have several opinions, but that's going to be a topic for another video. Then I read Ugly Love on my Kindle, which I also have to say that I loved it. The next book that I read was this one, Psychology of Money, which I do have to say that I do recommend this book to any of you that are trying to learn more about personal finance, money, how to manage money and all that, and all that which I believe that is really easy to read and I believe it is really helpful. And then after that one, I start this one, which is the one I'm currently reading, People We Meet on Vacation. And yes, my bookmark is at uh, plane ticket for now. But that's the one that I reading, I'm reading right now. And as you can see, I'm reading between rom-com and personal finance book or self-help books. So I'm going to continue with that trend. So this week, what I'm going to do is swap that time I spend on my phone with reading as I believe that's going to help me do two things. First, avoid my phone as much as possible and be able to not be that addicted to it. And second, start reading a little bit more or a little bit faster, which is something I do want to achieve this year. So before starting, let's go and grab a coffee, a book and start reading. So I read for about an hour. I have one hour and nine minutes left, but I'm going to eat something and then I'll get back to reading. So I read for two hours today and a little bit more and I finished the book. The alarm sounded when I had one chapter left to finish the book. And even though I already read for two hours, I needed to finish the book. I do have to say that for the first day, I'm feeling very, very happy. I got distracted a lot uh, by phone calls, by messages, by Instagram, as I was trying not to, and I got my phone on focus mode, on work mode. I stopped the clock every time I did that, so I did, I really read for two hours. And I finally finished this book, which I started one month ago. So it took me one month to read one book, which I believe I read really slow and I also don't read every single day as I did 
today. Tomorrow I'm gonna be reading two hours as well and I'm gonna start a new book. So I would say good morning as this is the second day of, of this challenge but it's already 7 p.m. and I have not read that much. I only read four pages because I have had a really tough day today at work. But now that I finally finished with my work day, I'm gonna read this book. I am on page four so I'm gonna try to read for two hours which means that I would end at 9 p.m. I don't think I'm gonna be able to but at least I have not used my phone that much either today because I have not had enough time to do so. But I'll let you know how I did today, if I'm able to read two hours or not. So obviously last night I did not read much. I only read like five pages and I got really tired after a big work day for me. So that was a complete failure for this challenge. But at least I did not use my phone that much either yesterday because I did not have enough time. But now I started reading today again and I have left for today one hour and 25 minutes, which I'm going to do now as it's still early. And I have to say that I'm only on page 26 and I'm already scared with this book. I don't know what to expect from this book but I now I now know why I don't tend to read mystery or thriller books because I get scared really fast and I don't like to read these at night but the last sentence or phrase of this chapter that I'm on says there's someone else out there someone just standing there hiding behind a tree he's out there he's out there watching us and obviously i get scared really really easy and this is not that good for me but i'm going to continue reading because i believe i'm gonna like this book i'm gonna continue reading for one hour and a half and i'll let you know hopefully i finish this book sooner than what what i expect because well i'll let you know So I'm on page 264 as you could see and I have to say that this book has surprised me and it's really good in my opinion. I bought it because I was walking on Barnes and Nobles and just saw it and was looking for a mystery book and I have to say that I like it. I did not find this one on YouTube or Google or nothing like that so I was a little bit scared that I was not going to like this book but I have to say that I've been really really into it now I have to say that I've been I've not been reading two hours a day there are some days that I read one hour but there's some days that I read three or even four hours so what I decided to do was just to start a timer for the time that I had left as you remember I was going to read for 15 hours so I have left Three, seven hours and 32 minutes so today that is a rainy day I'm going to try and finish this book but I do have to say that I have been reading a lot and that is something that I really like but obviously I'm not like any of those youtubers that talk about videos that read all day I don't know how they do it I really really want to be able to do that but I'm on my way on doing it so let's continue reading Okay, I finished this book and I have to say that it was incredible. I don't know if it was because it was my first thriller mystery book, but this is a five star book for me. I'm not going to spoil anything. Like I have to say, I don't know if it was because of my, it's my first thriller mystery book, but I have to say that I liked it and I would recommend everyone that likes this type of books to read it. And let me know in the comment section below what you think about it. Now that I finished this one, I'm gonna start a romance book just to chill out a little bit. Even though I'm not that in a mood, into a mood of a romance book, I would like to read another thriller book. But now I'm gonna start another book and continue with this challenge for this week, which I have to say that I've not been using that much my phone and it has been pretty good. Also, I started going to the gym, so I don't have that much time now that I used to have before to just scroll on social media. I go to work, I do YouTube, I go to the gym, I have to eat, I visit 
my boyfriend and my sister, my parents. So I don't have that much time to scroll on social media. What I do notice is that I watch more YouTube as I am able to listen to something while I'm driving, while I'm in the gym or something like that. So my time on YouTube has increased, but not on Instagram or, or TikTok, which is something that I really like. Now, I have about five and 45 hours and 45 minutes to finish this book, which I think it's more than enough. I know that I read slow, but not that slow. This is about a 320 something pages book. So I'm gonna let you know what happens. The next day. I know I said I was going to start reading Beach Reads because that was the book that I had at the moment. But that same day I got a package with different books, like six books that I bought. I'm going to do an un unboxing video for that. But uh, one of the books that I got was this one. And I have to say that I decided to read this one because I was not in a mood for a romantic book and decided to read this one. What, what a good decision I made. This is an incredible book. I'm only on page 136. And I have to say that it is a very good book. I'm going to try to finish it today or in two days as the challenge is almost finished. And I only have two hours left, two hours and a half left for this. So that's how it's going. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to post this part of the video in the final video, but if I do, then know that I'm on page 286 on this Verity book. It's almost 12 a.m. exactly. And oh my freaking God. I'm gonna finish this book and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. The next day. So yes, obviously I finished this book and have to say that it was crazy. It was incredible in my opinion. It was a really good book. It left me with a lot of questions. I know there is a new book with like a new edition with one extra chapter that explains a little bit more, but still according to Twitter, it still left, leaves you with a lot of questions. I know that many people don't like this author, but I have to say that the three books that I've read, or two books, no, three books that I've read, four books that I've read already from that author, I really like them. But I do recommend to read about the delicate topics that are spoken in this book. Now, now that the challenge is over, I have to say many things I learned from this. I believe that is incredible what I've been able to do because of this challenge. There were some nights that I would check my screen time and it was only like two or three hours maximum in a day. And obviously that is incredible in my opinion. After that, that was in October, as you know, we're already in December and I've read about three books and a half since then. I read two more Colin Hoover books and this one, The House Across the Lake. But I have to say that this book, I was able to read it in a single week. I started it last Thursday and ended it this Thursday, which it impressed me a lot. Now, I started now this, The Seven Husband of Evelyn Hugo on Friday, we're already on Sunday, and I'm on page 80, which I know, I know it's not a lot, it's 10 a.m. here, so I'm gonna read 50 something pages today, which is what I'm trying to read, 50 something pages. Because of the challenge, I started reading way more, which, is, which was one of my goals. And something that have helped me is that I, even though I buy the book, the physical book, because I really like physical books, I also download the book on my Kindle and on my phone because there were some times that I was just on a line for something, let's say that I went to the doctor and I was scrolling through social media a lot while I waited to be attended. So I decided to download the book on my phone and on my Kindle. You can find the book for free online, not as a PDF, as an EPUB, which is the for iBooks and Kindle, but I only do that because I already bought the physical book. So don't hate on me. I do that. I'm not going to buy the book three times, but that's what have been helping me because also in the morning when I run to read on my bed, but without standing up and turning on the light and all that, I just grab my Kindle and start reading when everything is dark, which is something I cannot do with a physical book. And that has certainly helped me a lot. 
Now, I do want to know what you guys think about this. Have you done this before? Do you like to read or not? I do encourage you to read a little bit more. It does not have to be all this financial books. If you don't enjoy them, you can start with books like I did with this kind of books or this one. And then you're going to start reading those other books that you also want to read. I read this, uh, Psychology of Money. I read uh, no, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. And I started reading the YouTube formula as well while I, I read other books. So obviously this has been a complete change for me and I'm very, very happy with it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this kind of videos and I'll post another one next week. Thank you and see you next time.